Now what? Get out of this. Lightning's trouble. to me.
It had to be done. No one else will die. Watch out for the Osaron merchants. They'll as soon cheat you as look at you. Greetings, Aloy. I am known as Blameless Marad. Please come with me. You're needed for an important consultation. What do you mean? Where's Erend? He's inside, attending the Sun King, where we should be without further delay. Follow me, please. All of these people are here to see the Sun King. Yes, and each has come to ask a favor of him. Unpleasant, but that's politics. The Sun King is eager to meet you. Machine tamer with a curious eye for detail. It's all very intriguing. I'm not here to intrigue you. Too late. Ignore them. Nobles are like children who whine when they don't get a second helping of dessert. What's the Sun King like? The most important thing is what he isn't like. His father. I think you'll find him to be a reasonable man. Aloy of the Nora. She who sees the unseen. Welcome. It would seem you have done me a great service. Erend, tell her what you found. I, I checked Ursa's tomb. You were right, Aloy. The body is missing a scar below her right knee. I gave it to Ursa when we were kids, fighting over a toy sword. 
If the body is not Ursa's, then we must assume she is still alive. And I will not abandon her. We only know she was taken, not who took her. I can help with that. Ursa has an enemy among the Oseron. A warlord named Durval. Impossible. Every clan in the claim has been hunting for him since the liberation. He has to be dead by now. No other Osoram had the motive and ingenuity to lure Ursa into this trap. I expect to find him lurking somewhere near the border. I've already sent an agent to investigate. He'll be waiting for word from us at the marketplace in Pitchcliffe. I can't move troops to the border without provoking the Osoram. But I could send a few vanguardsmen. And perhaps an exceptionally gifted Nora as well. Errant, Murad. Let me discuss it with her privately. I hate to impose further after all you've done, but this is a matter of great importance to me. It sounds like Ursa means a lot to you. Without her Asaram vanguard, I would not have been able to liberate Meridian and end my father's brutal reign. Since then, it has been difficult to maintain peace between our tribes. But Ursa has a way of making her people see reason. So you see, I need her back at my side. And quickly. Who is Durval exactly? To understand Durval, you must first understand my father. He truly thought of himself as a sun god. His mind was broken. He believed that blood sacrifice would solve, well, everything. So he raided the other tribes for victims, especially the Asuran. Durval fought back. He crafted powerful weapons and rallied his people. My father responded with the ultimate cruelty. He captured Durval's wife and daughter and sacrificed them in the Sun Ring. So, why would Durval go to so much trouble to kidnap Ursa? He felt she betrayed him. She fought by his side until she realized he planned to raise Meridian and butcher its people. And she came to me. Together, we stopped him and liberated the city from my father. Durval has spent every moment since trying to get revenge. Mostly on the other Asaram who fought with us. He made so many powerful enemies. I thought we'd seen the last of him. I was wrong. I'd like to ask you something about the Sundom and its politics. By all means. They call you a sun god who killed his own father in order to unite the tribes in harmony. Is any of it true? They say you can see the invisible. Split an arrow at 50 paces and tame machines at a glance. How much of that is true? It's not too far off. Well, I would like to unite the tribes in harmony, but you saw how many courtiers I have to deal with first. Maybe next week. Your politics seem very complicated. The Asaram are friends, but enemies too? I couldn't have liberated Meridian without the help of Ursa and her Asaram freebooters. Many of them have settled here. But the Eldermen of the Asaram clans in the claim have become jealous of their success. So have many Karja nobles. It's a volatile situation, especially given the fact that my father raided the Asaram for years. Ursa helps keep the peace, promising a future based on mutual gain. But some, like Durval, will never let go of their venom. Quite a place you've got here. You can almost see the little people below the mesa. You don't approve? Well, I have a secret for you. Neither do I. But we must be patient. Change won't come in a single sunrise. But will it happen at all, while men live in palaces? It might. Eventually. If people like you help me bring it about. What can you tell me about the Shadow Karja? What do they have to do with Ursa? They are remnants of my father's regime, holding out at the fortress of Sunfall to the west. Like him, they care only for domination, 
and seek to draw upon the power of the sun by spilling blood in its name. Since Ursa helped me take this city from them, they were perfect scapegoats. Durval knew this, of course, and planned it well. I need to get going. I know. Well, they say kings should never beg. But please, help me find Ursa. Who says that? Well, Murad, for one. Don't hesitate to ask him or Erend if you have further questions. A moment of your time, Outlander? What did you want to talk about? You were an Outlander, no? An adventurer. I used to be one myself. I admit, I miss the beguiling colors of the wilds. Speaking of which, I wonder if you've come across a very special kind of flower. It's made of metal, like a machine. Other blossoms grow around them in amazing patterns. These gleaming beauties are very much in demand among my clients. If you bring me some, I have valuables to trade for them. You said you were an adventurer. Just so. The nobles of Meridian crave flowers for their balconies and gardens. So out I went, with bow and spear. I made my name by searching the wilds for the wildest blossoms. No bandit nor machine could keep me from those precious petals. So what happened? Love happened, my sweet. My paramour frets too much when I venture out. So now I collect flowers for those without such bonds. Is it worth it? Being restrained like that? Of course. Freedom is sweet. But the embrace of my beautiful Theridine is sweeter still. These metal flowers, what are they exactly? No one knows. But some say they began sprouting 20 years ago when the machines started to go mad. Perhaps they grow from the tears of the sun, for he has many faces, does he not? Wrathful one day, cool and patient the next? Perhaps he weeps for our suffering when his anger breaks. Ah, let us haggle over this beautiful bounty. Till we meet again, my noble Nora.
Could you spare a moment to speak of the finer things? Able-bodied adventurers! Prefer Outlander! Are you looking for- Wait. I know your face. <laughs> you came back! <laughs> How did we fare? Expensively. That's what I was afraid of. The tame machines... It's hard to explain, but there was a kind of signal that calmed them. Your men got greedy, so it's gone now. Gambling's a shoddy job, girl. I should have been a weapons dealer. That's steady work. Here, take it. The half I'd owed those hammer-handed chunks. Half? I finished the job. And what was it you said? Enough to buy a more becoming garb? What do you want? Carja silks? Ah, hoisted on my own purse strings. You again. I never forget a face I've lost shards to. Hope you're well. The thief put drops of blood. You saw the thief make a run for it? My back was to the wall, you see. Wasn't expecting someone to crawl out the window. He ran past me, dressed in gray, clutching a sword. That's all I saw. By the sun, my heart nearly seized up. Still more blood. The thief got cut. The trail ends here. But someone must have seen the thief. Steal a moment like 
Did someone run past here, holding a sword? Sure did. He grabbed some linen off the stand here and took off down the stairs behind you. He was bleeding, so maybe he needed a binding. Blast it! That was expensive cloth. I can't believe I paid for that thief's bandage. I'm gonna look him in the face and tell him I quit. Wish I could steal a moment like this every day. If the thief came this way, there's only one way he could have gone. Forward. No sign of the thief. Someone must have seen him go by. Did you see anyone run through here? He would have been holding a sword. Yeah. Almost crashed into me, too. He ran down the parapet here and went down the lift. No way he'll catch him now. I didn't see a sword, though. He wasn't carrying anything. Not a damn thing. Just ran like his ass was on fire. The thief must have ditched the sword. But where? Maybe he had help. That merchant stall would have been a convenient drop-off. It looks like the thief got away, but without the sword. I thought maybe he dropped it off somewhere. Like here, for instance? What? No. I had nothing to do with this. I guess we'll see when I get the city guard to toss your stall and question your customers. Uh, hold on. There's more to this. You've got a reputation for a shining light in the darkness, so I know you'll listen. You're right. The sword was passed to me, and I passed it on to someone else. It's going to be sold, but not for profit. The shards will go to people in need. You expect me to believe that? I can prove it. Meet my friends at the water mill in the lower village. They'll explain everything. If they don't convince you, come right back with the guards. I'm not going anywhere. It wouldn't matter if you did. I'd find you. <sighs> but all right. I'll check out the water mill. Okay, I guess I should go to this water mill then to find out what's going on. Your hands to your sunshines on those who you wouldn't be so eager to speak with me if you knew me.
good for an old remedy. I was told to expect you, Aloy. I suppose you want answers. Well, it's not complicated. We collect valuable objects from people who don't need them, sell them for shards, and use the money to help the needy at Sunfall. You mean you steal? If you want to call it that. From hogs who've had their turn at the trough for generations. Ravon didn't seem like a hog to me. He stinks just like the rest of them of wealth and contentment, while people beneath him suffer. Who exactly gets the shards at Sunfall? Not the bastards in the fortress. We use the shards to make sure the poor in Shadowside get to eat, or bandage their wounds. They only went west because they had to. Trust me, I know. My wife was chained up with a bunch of servants and herded with them. They starved to death, still bound together. Oh. I'm sorry. So am I. Where is the sword now? Safe. I haven't sold it yet. What do you expect me to do now? Walk away? I was hoping you'd help us. They say you can track like a stalker. Well, my partner Nassan disappeared near the branded shore. He was bound for Sunfall, along with an entire shipment of food. If you found that, you'd be helping a lot of people. I'll consider it. But only if you return the sword to Ravon. I knew you were gonna say that. Fine, I'll return the damn blade. Nassan was supposed to meet his contact at an old campfire on the fork near the branded shore. Start looking there. But be careful. Lots of machines out there, and lots of Shadow Karja. And not the needy kind, but they're tormentors. These damn Osaram stirring up tensions. I'm keeping my eyes open.
This is where the Otaru wanted to say her goodbyes. When we fled from our cages during the liberation, I tore through this clearing, thinking my friend was behind me. I kept running, but here she remains. Thank you for making it safe for me to return. I don't want to rush you, but it won't stay safe for long. I understand. I've done this before in waking dreams. In the pool, I'll find the bracelet of seeds she dropped when she fell. The seeds will be split, escaped, grown wild. She's passing from my memory into the jungles. I'll tell her it was I who died here and became a stranger in our own land, and she who still lives in every time of planting, of rains, harvests, and... Oh. What is it? There. Her bracelet. And... I thought she was behind me. But there's only my reflection. Do you need to be alone? For the first time, I am.
so this is as high as we go. Okay. You'll have to show me how you do that trick one day. Aloy, you're a woman of your word. Owen, your family. I saw the threat from Helis. You have a wife and young boy? If I'd have striven to keep them safe, instead of all I've done. This is your chance, Olin. That's why we're here. I'll take it. A kinder deal was never struck. They're being held close by? Yes, at the farmstead just beyond these rocks. I'll take you. That's it. Nestled against the spurflins. Best not to think about the previous owners. <sighs> Too late. It'll be daybreak soon. It was nothing.
heard the commotion outside. You're not one of them. Who are you? Don't be afraid. I'm gonna get you out of here. I hadn't given up on hope, but I'd forgotten the taste of it. Is it safe for us to leave? The Eclipse won't be stopping you. Then it's over. Just like that. You've ended our bondage, but why? Your husband asked me for help. Come on, he'll be here soon. I heard the fighting stop. Olin! You brought him back to us. Thank you. There's no need to thank me. I have much to confess. I accepted a devil's bargain. And others paid the price. And you think I don't know? I heard them talk. You know there's always been dirt on my hands. Now there's blood too. Take your son up in those hands. Come back to the claim with us. You should listen to your wife, Olin. But Helis, and his demons. I am honor-bound to help you, Aloy. With what little honor a Dyson like me has. Olin, whatever your debts, you don't owe them to me now. Go with your family. Show them you're a better man. Farewell, Aloy. Your mother. I hope you find her before they do.